How many of us adventurers, campers, off-roaders, and just outdoor enthusiasts in general have often contemplated either purchasing or building an off-road camping trailer set up with all the coolest amenities, or ditching the idea of a trailer and either throwing a rooftop tent on top of our vehicles or converting the back of our rigs into a sleeping area. There are definitely a few different options to consider here, and each one has its advantages and disadvantages. But after spending some time up at Xventure Trailers in Clintonville, Wisconsin, we take a closer look at why a well-built, utilitarian, modular type of overlanding trailer just might be the best way to go. Well, first of all, rooftop tents can be a great little shelter to escape the elements. Plus, being high up in the air brings back fond childhood memories of building tree forts. But rooftop tents will add additional weight to the worst place to add additional weight to, the top of your vehicle. This not only negatively affects the handling of your vehicle, but also creates more wind resistance when cruising down the highway. And if you need to use your vehicle to do anything, regardless if it's just to make a quick trip to go get firewood or to go out adventuring in the wilderness for a day, you have to pack down your tent and provisions every single time to do that and it can get pretty old pretty quick. Another option is to set up the back of your vehicle as a sleeping area. Maybe you have an SUV or pickup truck with a topper on it and convert the back of the SUV or truck bed into a nice and little cozy sleeping area. Either one works great in keeping you safe from nature and the elements, but in both situations, you end up using valuable real estate that can be used for gear, coolers, fridge, onboard air, tools, and a bunch of other things that you now have to find a different space for throughout the night. This is exactly where I'm at, and although it does work pretty great for sleeping comfortably in, I find myself constantly shifting gear around and it's still a pain in the ass. And that's where an off-road trailer becomes the be-all, do-all, almost perfect way to have your cake and eat it too. Especially if it's something as utilitarian, modular, and robust as what the X-Venture trailers are. And what I mean by utilitarian, modular, and robust is, Unlike a teardrop style trailer or RV style type of camping trailer that are made to be like a tiny home on wheels and already has or almost has all of your creature comforts built right into it. And that works great for many people. The X-Venture trailers are a military grade off-road trailer that you can mount a rooftop tent on. This means that you get an actual heavy duty trailer that is sort of like pulling an extra truck bed around with you. However, it's a lot more than just that. And guys, before we get too far into talking about these X-Venture trailers, let me just start by saying that in no way, shape, or form is this a paid sponsorship video from X-Venture Trailer by any means. This video is purely meant to bring awareness to one of the many companies in the industry who manufacture purpose-built overlanding trailers. And, well, they just happen to be located about 45 minutes from our shop. So it turned into a pretty awesome opportunity for us to find out exactly who X-Venture is. Hence the reason for wanting to share them with all of you. In fact, these trailers may not even be for you, but at the very minimum, by the end of today's video, you'll at least know who X-Venture is. Another really interesting thing about the city of Clintonville, where X-Venture is headquartered, is that it's known as the birthplace of the four-wheel drive vehicle. With the first successful four-wheel drive vehicle being developed and built there in 1908, it then became the Badger four-wheel drive auto company founded in 1909 and full production of their four-wheel drive vehicles being produced there in 1911. But what else is pretty cool is that X-Venture trailers are built by Shutt Industries. And Shutt Industries is one of, if not the largest manufacturers of trailers, for the Department of Defense and supplies their trailers to all four branches of the military. Which means that the same technology of superiority that's going into their military trailers is getting put into their X-Venture trailers. That right there tells you that Shut Industries knows exactly what they're doing and how to build some of the best overlanding trailers out there. For example, all X-Venture trailers have an all aluminum construction for one of the best strength to weight combinations there is, and they assemble them using a Huck bolt technology. 
which means instead of aluminum welding them together, which aluminum welds will fatigue from stress and eventually they will break apart. Whereas the Huck bolt system uses Alcoa fasteners and each individual fastener has 5,000 pounds of bonding strength. Guys, that's 5,000 pounds of strength per fastener, not 500, 5,000. And each trailer has over 300 of them, which these things are not coming apart on you. And if, and that's a huge if, anything does happen to fail on your X Venture trailer and it's within 10 years of the original purchase date, it's covered under warranty anyways. But it's not just the aluminum construction or the huck bolts that hold it together, but the X Venture trailer has the same structural design as their light tactical military trailers that are subjected to rigorous military grade criteria tests. This means the frame and the cross structural supports are made from a quarter inch thick aluminum and are two and a half inch by three and a half inch closed box type framing. No C channel, no small tubular construction, but severe duty box frame chassis construction. I'm sure if you wanted to that you could probably literally build a house on this frame and it still wouldn't have any issues. Okay, well, maybe that's a slight exaggeration, but you guys get the point. These are built to be the toughest, longest lasting, most durable trailers on the market. So one of the biggest advantages to having a utilitarian type of trailer is that it is modular in use for a multitude of hauling all kinds of different things. You can use it to haul your four wheeler, snowmobile, a small fishing boat, canoe, kayak, rooftop tent, firewood, a bunch of camping supplies, spare tires, water containment systems. I mean, you name it and you guys can pretty much haul it as it acts like a regular trailer. The smaller version, the XV3, has a curb weight of 850 pounds with a payload capacity of 1,500 pounds of additional cargo. And the XV2, the larger version, weighs 1,200 pounds and can haul 2,300 extra pounds of cargo. And guys, these specs and all of their other specs and features, again, can be found right on their website just by clicking the link below. But the great thing here is that you can use your vehicle as the machine to go off-roading, to go adventuring, touring the local area, and the trailer can be the grunt, the donkey per se. Have the trailer carry all of your crap and sleep in the back of your vehicle if you wanted to and not have to worry about continuously shifting your gear around or even have to worry about buying a rooftop tent. However, if you prefer a rooftop tent, the X Venture trailers do come equipped with an adjustable roof rack system to mount the tent too. Besides the sleeping arrangement configurations, I think the best part of utilizing a trailer, regardless if it's a teardrop, camper type or X Venture trailer or any type of trailer for that matter is the convenience of being able to unhook the trailer and use your vehicle to go exploring for the day or to go off-roading or even just to make that quick trip to go grab some beer from the store without having to pack down or put away all of your stuff that you would have normally had to do without a trailer. Granted, you don't want to leave all your crap just laying around all over the place and will probably still want to keep it in the trailer along with having a surefire theft preventative system so your things are there when you get back. But besides that, I think it's still way more convenient to have a trailer. And not to mention the X Venture trailers also have a standard battery operated power control system to power up the lights, chargers, your coffee pot, and other essential electronics. You also get a standard max swivel coupler hitch, electronic brakes, swing out tailgate, propane system, spare tire carrier, a 22 gallon water tank along with a water heater and a whole bunch of other goodies to help make your adventure traveling experience a whole lot more enjoyable. There's even a slide out kitchen and hot water shower hookups to really help make camping a lot more, well, like glamping if you really wanted to. And guys, like I had mentioned earlier, this video is here to create exposure for X Venture trailers and I really do hope you guys check them out as they are pretty badass trailers that will give you years and years of traveling benefits. If you do end up considering an X Venture trailer and would rather upgrade your wheels and tires on the trailer to match your vehicle's wheels and tires or just want an upgrade from the X Venture factory wheels and tires, then make sure and let them know as well. In fact, it'll probably be Tim that you'll end up working with there as he is the gentleman that almost exclusively works with everyone on getting them set up with their new X Venture trailer. 
Either Tim will have the axle hub swapped out to match your vehicle's bolt pattern, or there are adapter spacers that can be bolted onto the existing hubs, and then the bolt pattern on the wheel mounting side will match the same bolt pattern of your vehicle. And then after that, Whichever route you guys do end up deciding to go with, just let Tim know and he'll get you in contact with one of us here at Trailbuilt. This way we'll be able to personally help you guys match up the exact wheel offset and backspacing you're looking for, depending on how wide you want the track width to be or how much you'd like the tires to either stick out, have them flush with the fenders, or even if you wanted to tighten them up a little bit to keep them as tucked in as possible. So then for overlanding, camping, we went through sleeping in a vehicle mounted rooftop tent, sleeping in the vehicle itself, or having a trailer with either a rooftop tent or just to keep all your gear in, plus other traveling provisions like a warm shower attachment. But what I'm really curious about is what do you guys do for sleeping arrangements while you're out exploring or camping? Do you just ground tent it? Which I'm realizing that I know we really didn't discuss ground tenting much, but it is another option and well, one I've done plenty of in my younger years. But do you have a rooftop tent attached to the top of your vehicle and how does that work out for you? Or do you have a trailer and how do you have it set up? I'd really like to know and sincerely would like to know what all of you guys do or what you have so that myself and others can see what works or what doesn't work. Definitely make sure and let us know in the comments below. And guys, as always, we appreciate all of you for watching and all of your support. I'm Josh from Trailbuilt, and we'll see you guys out on the trails.